hole. This is August. This is in the middle of our winter, and you see the crop still uh, planted. It's not harvested yet. Why? Here, people is uh, wants to have safer crops. When they they have two possible seasons of plant in December uh, or in September. When they plant in September, the potential is higher, but the demand of water for the environment is bigger and is too risky. So they decide in many cases to plant in December, where the critical stage is in March, so they can have a safer crops, losing some potential, but they prefer to have a crop at least. This uh, changed around to to something seven more or less they began to plant uh, in this way to more more than that 2010 more or less and in five hours probably the 60 percent of the argentina crop moves from one uh, date to the other one so what does this mean for innovation and for people who want to innovate Everybody says, or many people says, farmers don't adopt technology. Yet the other day, on the other video, you can see the rate of adoption of no-till system. The same happened with this. The adoption is huge when the value, when the propose, when the value that someone is proposing is huge. If we are not adding value we cannot think that they will adopt our systems faster. So within five years, almost 50% of the farmers went from, uh, changed their entire planting date to reduce the risk because they got more rain, but because it was later, they got less sun, so it reduced the yield, but it was a good business decision. It was a good business decision because they adopted and they are still adopting. It's a bad decision, they will not adopt. So that's what I wanted to point more, even more than if they plant in one season or another. When they find something that adds value for their business, they adopt. Very quickly, five Very years. Very quickly, five years, uh, 10 years to change machinery and go from a tilling system to a no-till system that is much more complex than this. But the concept is, if entrepreneurs show value, farmers will adopt. That's the message. Great. Thank you, Federico.